Hey everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. Today we're gonna to talk sealers. Um, I did these fun pour paint rocks. These two have not been sealed at all. So I just wanted to give you what the original rock looked like and we're gonna do some comparisons of a few different sealers that I have. Now I am indoors under artificial light, but it's a pretty white light that I have set up here. Um, so you should be able to see a uh, pretty good comparison and I've got four different sealers that I'm going to show off. I did a whole batch of these rocks so it's kind of good for comparing. So I've got these two that are plain. I'm going to show them kind of side by side. The first one I'm going to show you is the Decoar Duraclear. Now this is a gloss varnish. It works really well for me because you can use it inside. It doesn't have an odor or anything to it. So you're able to apply this to a rock um, indoors. You don't have to worry about spraying. The rest of these are spray varnishes. So the finish on that one, it has a pretty good shine to it. You can see in comparison to the matte, you know, plain rock, you can see that it does get a good shimmer to it. Um, I, I only applied one nice coat to it so i'm sure if you wanted to do a few more coats it would probably get even glossier but you can still see all the detail on the rock really well and you do get that good um, gloss finish so I'll put that one off to the side here dirt clear uh, the next one i'm going to show is uh actually something i suggest the most just price wise it's uv resistant um it is uh, moisture resistant I like spray-ons because I can do a whole lot of rocks at once. Um, so I'll set that one here. Let's see if I can get these all on the camera as I work. And that's this rock here. So we do have that nice kind of shine. This is a gloss finish. This comes in matte as well if you want matte or satin. So a little bit of shine. It covers well. I hide my rocks around town. So for the price, I think it does pretty good. So we'll put that one right here. Move this guy out of the way. Uh, the next one I'm going to show is a Rust-Oleum clear coat. It is gloss. Um, it says you can. It's fast drying, UV protectant. Um, so it, it is indoor outdoor durability. So I think if you're going to have something that's going to be outside longer, you can do a few coats of this, and it's going to probably be good for a long period of time. And this gives a very shiny coat to it. Looks really nice. Um, as you can see, I would say definitely shinier. And I tried to do about the same thickness on all these sprays. I sprayed once fine mist from far away, like I always do for my first layer, and then one second coat slightly closer, but I never spray enough that it's running or dripping. So I would say this gives a very nice finish. And then the last one that I'm gonna show is probably, but it is probably the shiniest. People talk about this one all the time. This is uh, the Triple Thick Deco Art Gloss Glaze. And it definitely gives it more of a glazed look. It is the shiniest of all of them. However, this is probably the most expensive based on the size and how many rocks you're going to get out of it. But if you're doing an extra special piece of, um, of art, I guess you could say, if it's something you're planning on keeping or it's a gift, I mean, look at the sheen that that one gets. And I put the same amount on. It almost gives it a thicker, I mean, it says triple thick. I mean, it definitely lives up to its name. So um, it's a really thick layer. I feel like you could ding this a few times and it wouldn't really hurt your rock long term. So that's a comparison of the four different sealers. So it kind of depends on preference. Some people like them super shiny and glossy looking. Um, other people might want them just a little bit less glossy. Some people are looking for the best bang for your buck. I mean, it all depends on your preference and what you plan to do with your rocks. I hide my rocks around town. Um, so like I said, I use the DuraClear if I'm trying to get it out and about quickly and it's too cold to be out in the garage spraying. Um, I'll definitely use up all of these because I purchased them. Um, but I've, I've stuck by the Krylon for quite some time for the price you can get it at a craft store and especially if you've got your coupons. Um, it really, one can will cover a lot of rocks and it does a really good job. So pick your favorite, try out a few different ones before you settle on something that you have to have or have to use. Everybody have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along for more tips from Rock Painting 101. Bye-bye.